how to do a Caesar cipher. It's a very simple cipher. It's very not secure, but it's a great starting point. Now, this is the Morse code program that we wrote earlier. And it's pretty similar in that it's a substitution method, right? We are substituting each letter with a string of characters, dots or dashes, to transform that into a different format. Caesar cipher is pretty similar. Now, a couple things about this. We could just try to transform this program. So we could change this to Caesar cipher and string to convert, right? And we could do this whole thing. And that would be fine. So we would end up getting rid of this. And this would become message. These actually, I don't actually need to have different values here. I could just have it say one all the way down because it can replace itself. I just don't really like doing that because I've had some issues with it in other languages and so just just how I prefer to do it. But you could do it this way. This this works. You can you can go to town on that if you want. Now the issue becomes if we keep it in this method. Ooh, let's get rid of that too. And we can start here actually. Because you don't change the punctuation. If we use this method, and let's say we do a shift of one, so A becomes B and B becomes C and C becomes D, etc., all the way down. That's fine. We can do that. But let's look at what happens. So I've gone through and I've just switched all of these real fast. No reason for you to sit and watch me do this. If we run this, and uh, maybe let's use the same example sentence we were using in the about encryption video. So, tragedy, send tacos immediately. If we run this, let's watch what happens. All right, so we run strings, right? And uh, we have a whole bunch of Zs. We have a capital T here and a capital S here. And that happened because capital T, capital S. I never actually input any capitals. And keep in mind, lowercase and capitals are not the same to a programming language. They're just the same to us. I would need to go in here and add these capitals. Or I would just need to do message equals message dot lower. And that would work. And we can run this. But we still have the same issue. Now we don't have the issue with the capitals, but everything is Z. Keep in mind, it's because of how Python does things, how computers do things, and the way that we've written this. Keep in mind, it goes down this program in order. One line after the other after the other. Let's add line numbers. So. We set the message, we made it lower, it's going to jump down to 9 because that's where the next thing is, so it's going to replace A with B, then number 10, B with C, C with D, etc. So this A here, which is the third letter, this third letter A, it became B, then it became C, then it became D, then it became E, etc., all the way down to Z. And it's going to do that for all of them. Why didn't everything become A's, actually? Ah. Everything became Z's instead of A's because I printed temp1, not temp2. But if I run it again, there you go. Because every letter, no matter where it gets caught in here, it's going to just keep being transformed until we get all the way down to the bottom, and it's going to print a bunch of A's. Now, we have a couple options with this. Just like with the Morse code program, this is not the best way to do this but it is an easy way with what we know so far. We have message.lower here and that works. We could use message.upper instead. Either one is fine. Keep in mind that a capital and a lowercase is not the same. That's important because what we're doing here is replacing a lowercase a with a lowercase b. But what if we replaced it with a capital B? Since they're not the same, this is not gonna be caught here because they're not the same. So if we run this, now we have a capital B wherever there was an A in here. So the third letter, the second of the third word, and uh, roughly the middle of this last word. And so we could go down through this list and replace every letter with 
the capital of itself. And now when we run it, of course it's not going to be done yet, but you're going to start to see these letters in there. So that works. We can do it that way. And of course, we need this message.lower in there, so that way these original capitals don't end up in our message and making something confusing. This will work. It's not the best method, but it's a method. To do a better method, to write this in a more elegant, more efficient manner, we're going to have to talk about loops. So in the next video, that's what we'll do. We'll talk about loops.